What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about some different ways where you can extrude profiles that don't have any thickness inside of SketchUp. So we're going to look at a couple different extensions, some modeling methods, just to give you some kind of options for um, extruding things or modeling things that don't necessarily have a thickness associated with them. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so first off let me define what I'm talking about here. So um, one of the things that you may have noticed is um, a lot of the time when we create extrusions inside of SketchUp or 3D shapes from flat profiles, we do it with things that have a thickness, right? So for example, um, let's say we wanted to extrude this out into a piece of angle. We would do that by using the push-pull tool to push-pull this face out. And that's great as long as you're trying to model something with thickness. But let's say, for example, that we had a shape like this one, that we wanted to extrude up so that it had a face, but it doesn't have any thickness associated with it. Well, if I activate the push-pull tool, notice how I get the little circle, um, the little red circle over here, because I can't extrude this out. And the reason I can't extrude this out is because it doesn't have a thickness associated with it. And so there's a few different ways that you can work around this. So without using extensions, one way, for example, that you could work around this is that you could give it a thickness with like a sacrificial wall. And so what that means is that means that I could draw this with a thickness right here, and then I could really quickly erase out the extra that's in here so that I have a flat wall like this one. So that's an easy way to do this, but it can get a little bit frustrating and a little bit annoying because you have to draw and erase that extra geometry. But that's definitely a method you can use to extrude something that doesn't have any thickness. So depending on what the shape is, like for example, if you have this one, right here, and you're doing a very simple extrusion, you could also use the move tool in copy mode and just create a copy and then just manually draw the lines in here in order to create that extrusion without any thickness. So that's another way that you can do this, but obviously as shapes get more complex, that's not gonna be preferred. And so what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at a couple extensions as well that give you the ability to extrude these flat profiles. So the first is going to be extrude tools. And so extrude tools or extrusion tools is a tool from TIG that allows you to extrude based on edges rather than faces. And so for example, let's say that I have a series of edges like these and I want to extrude them along a curve like this. Well, because the way this tool works, there's an option in here called extrude edges by rails. And it allows you to set a profile curve, a rail, which is basically the path this is going to follow. And then if you needed a second rail, um, you could use that as well. For this one, we're just gonna use this as the second rail. And then there's a melding profile, which is basically if you wanted this to turn into another shape on the other side. We don't want that, so we're just gonna click right here. And so what this tool does, and we're gonna go ahead and reverse the faces and make them quad faces. What this tool does is this allows us, so this allows us to extrude the edge along a path that looks a lot like this curve right here. So one thing to note about that is you do need to make sure that your edges are welded. And so what that means is that means that if I was to draw my profile like this and then draw a curve right here, oops, this initially isn't going to work because these two edges aren't melded into a single, or they're not welded into a single edge. So notice how right now, if I click on this, each one of these edges shows up as an individual edge. Well, if I select this and then install the extension weld and I run weld, now this is going to show up as a curve. Well, once it's a curve, you can use extrusion tools in order to extrude this profile along this path. And so in a similar manner, you could also use this to create complex paths and then extrude along them using extrude tools as well. But again, you wanna make sure that you take this path and you weld it into a single curve like this. So now you could run extrusion tools and you could take this profile, this path, and you could extrude the shape along that path. So you can use that tool 
in order to do that. So in addition, there's also another tool inside of extrusion tools, which is very helpful called extrude edges by vector. And so what extrude edges by vector does is that'll take a series of edges. So let's say for example, that we've got like a roof in here, right? And let's say that we wanted to model out maybe a piece of like a waterproof membrane that doesn't really have any thickness. So what I would do is I'd draw that in here. I'm just gonna select these edges like this and then I'm going to run extrude edges by vector. What that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to single click and then I can move my mouse in a direction in order to extrude this object out. So I'm just going to click out here somewhere. We'll notice what that did and we're going to say no and no. Notice what that did is that took this edge and it extruded it just like this. So you can see how it has no thickness but you were able to extrude it along this path like this. So extrusion tools is a great tool set for these more simple extrusions. Now sometimes though um, you want to do something a little bit more complex, right? So um, for example, let's say I wanted this to follow a more complex path, um, like a square. So let's say I had a square like this and I wanted the same thing, right? Let's say that I wanted to wrap a piece of membrane around this square, right? So this gets a little bit complicated because you could model this in place um, and then try to extrude with the rails, but I don't think it's going to work very well. So if I take all of these and one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, I'm going to paste it so that it's not on this object. But if I was to take all of these and weld them together and then weld this together and try to do the same thing with extrusion tools, that's going to come through and that's going to try to create a mesh that follows along this path, but it's not really going to work, right? So it's coming in here and it's trying to figure out what that mesh is going to look like right now. See how I'm getting this please wait? We'll notice how this never really completed that operation. So, and the reason for that is because the way that this goes in a circle just doesn't really work with the way that uh, TIG's extrusion tools calculates this. But there's another extension called Profile Builder, which does allow you to do this. And so Profile Builder is a paid extension, but what it does is it allows you to create a library of profiles that you can use in order to extrude um, along paths, right? So, and I will link to this in the notes down below, but it has things like steel angle, other things like that. You can create your own custom profiles as well. Well, one of the cool things about Profile Builder, so you can select this and inside of the profile tools, you can add a profile using these edges. So you can create a profile that you can then extrude along a path like this one. And we're going to set our insertion point to the bottom right. And that may not be perfectly right, but that's okay for right now. Well, now if I was to select this and then use the build along path tool, what that would do is that would come in here and that would use this profile as something to extrude along a path. And so let's say that we had a more complex path. Um, so let's say we had something that curved a bunch. So we'll say something like this. Hopefully I managed to draw this all on the same plane. Well, the cool thing about Profile Builder is that you can select that whole path and you can extrude this along the path without you having to weld it into a single edge, right? So it almost acts as like a follow me tool for these flat profiles. You can definitely use it on more complex profiles as well, but Profile Builder is a great result. I usually end up, um, anytime I have like crazy, um, anytime I have like organic shapes and I'm modeling like uh, mock-ups or anything like that, I use this to add things like flashings without having to give them any thickness. Because what happens is if you try to do this with something with thickness you just get so much nasty geometry in there when all I really need to do is visually indicate like a flat piece of flashing in here. So Profile Builder is great for these flat profiles along complex paths. And then finally there's another tool from TomTom called Vertex Tools, which you might have seen before. What Vertex Tools does is Vertex Tools gives you the ability to extrude edges. So let's say that I have something like this. 
What Vertex Tools does is it gives you a vertex editing tool. So if I select these and then I turn the tool on, it gives you a tool that allows you to adjust the locations of different vertices. Well, what that does is that gives us the ability to extrude vertices kind of in the same way you would with a program like Blender or something where you really do a lot more extrusion of these flat profiles. And so the way that that works is you can just hold the control key and drag and what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to extrude this up in a direction. So that really gives you a lot of control over some other things that you can do here. So for example, I could use this by holding control and then holding shift in order to extrude a shape up really quickly using just the edges. So notice how that doesn't have any thickness associated with it. It literally only has that flat face in here. So if you ever want to do that style of vertex editing, this is going to be a great tool that's going to allow you to do that. So it's definitely worth uh, checking out if you're trying to create shapes from extruded vertices like this. So those are some different ways that you can model in SketchUp using flat profiles instead of profiles with thickness. Now obviously this is something that's only going to make sense for certain applications, but these are some great tools that you can use for that if that's what you're looking for. So if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.